This is Mamutasan Menas. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Solders. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the top view and this is the cross sectional view. The cross section is from this plane, which is 120 degree. We will draw from this cross section view. We will draw from the front view. Select the front plane and go to sketch. And here we can see a small circle which has a diameter of 15. Now we will draw this small circle which is 15 in diameter now uh, we have a distance from this circle origin to circle center to origin now select a center line and draw a center line to origin and the distance from the origin is uh, half of the distance of 150 so go to this point dimension and dimension 8 115 divided by 2 and minus the radius of the circle 7.5 we will get a distance of 50 now we can see that we have a 8 offset 8 unit offset here from the center in both sides so he, this side left side has 4 unit and right side is has 4 unit total 8 unit of offset now go to uh, offset entities offset entities and select this line and offset it to 4 4 on both sides ok now select ok now we see that we have a radius of 20 here as we have a radius 20 and distance from here center to here is 11.5 okay now draw this line select the center and select the corner rectangle and place the corner rectangle here the distance distance is 11.5 and the distance from other side which is uh, 20 divided by 2 which is 10 now delete the trim the all the unnecessary part now trimming the all the unnecessary part okay trim all the unnecessary part Now go to features and revolve boss. Select this side and axis of revolution is this one. I think if we have multiple lines here, that's why we're not getting okay. We'll change this too. Now close the part. Now we'll try now again. Go to features and revolve pose. And axis of revolution is this part. Okay. Now we can see we have getting quite the similar. Okay. Now we'll draw from this part here you can say we have a radius on a circle of 25 and an outer circle and this outer circle has a distance from this center to here which is 15 so we can say from this distance to this distance we have 15 okay now draw this select this sketch now Select the circle and draw a circle of 25 diameter. Now draw another circle and this circle is 115 minus uh, minus 15 
minus 15 and minus 50 which is equal to 70 now we can see here that all the parts are divided into 120 degree now we'll divide all the part 120 degree and offset it to 12 then we'll extrude cut this three part okay let's go and now normal to this and select a center line okay we have drawn the center line now circular space pattern go to circular space pattern and draw it to 3 Now we'll offset this. Offset this to 12. Offset this to 12. A 6 from both sides is 12. Okay. Now we'll cut all the unnecessary part. Now trim all the unnecessary part which we don't need. Trim it and trim it. Okay, now is to cut this the features and is to cut. Okay, now we can see that we have a circle, a is to cut of 10 and is to cut of 15. From this top plane, we have top plane, we have a to cut of 10. So, first we will Cut the extrude cut of 10. Select this face and sketch and select circle and draw a circle of 10 diameter. Now we should cut it to features and extrude cut. And extrude cut. We will extrude cut uh, it to 4 plus 11.5 minus 5 ok we have done our extra cut now select this page now draw a circle of 15 and which has a extra cut of 5 now select circle and draw a circle of 15 and Go to features and cut it to 5. Okay. Now we have a chamfer of 2. Now give this chamfer of 2. Select chamfer and give a chamfer of 2. In this here. Okay. Now we can see that we have a fillet of five in all the corners like this one this one but this six corner a fillet of five now select a fillet of five radius you can go to fillet and set the unit to five unit now select the corner this corner this corner and this corner this corner and also this and this okay now we can see that we have a this corner fillet of 2 and this corner fillet of 2 now go to again fillet and set the dimension 2 now fillet this one this one and this one which is fillet of 2 now we can see in this corner we have chamfer of 1 select chamfer and give chamfer of 1 to this corner 
Okay. We are almost there. Now we can see we have also filled in this part and this part also, which is the filler of two. Now go to let and select select this face and this face. This face, this edge, and also this edge and this edge. In other part, also select those edges. This edge and this edge, edge and this edge. Don't get confused with the preview part. If you don't want to, to see preview or partial preview, you can use no preview or partial preview or full preview according to your need. Okay, now okay. Now we can see we have a fillet of two in all the corners like this type and this type and this type. Go to fillet and set fillet of two and fit those corners. Remember that if you don't use the sequence, your final shape flip may, may not look like this. As we have seen that our main, main 3D part is looking like this, so we're following this fillet CD sequence. If you use fillet other sequences, your object may look quite little uh, smooth in on other types. Now we can, we can see that we have finished our 3D model which is quite similar to this. And thank you for watching till the end and enjoy. Thanks for watching and keep learning. Be different.